inside here, we've got a mic arm and Fifine K669 microphone. This is a budget friendly microphone. We're going to be installing and reviewing this, testing it out, see how it is. So you do the box right here. It's kind of small. This is the manual, yeah, use this guy. So we use the mic. Metal, made of metal, damn, all right. Let's open that, and now we can pull it all right. Yes. So this is the mic. Let's see, five find this is a volume knob to increase the gain. But yeah, I'm really excited to test this out been taken three years ago was when I uploaded the review of this video for this mic and headset. I most viewed video on my channel if you haven't seen that. I have a link in the description down below. But now it's time to move to an actual mic. I believe it comes with a stand, doesn't it? Yeah, right in there. So yeah, this is a little leg stand that you can attach from the bottom if you want to put it on your desk or anything. But Give him my car, so we won't be using that. I'll keep that package though. But yeah, let's uh, let's set it up. Decent size. It's not like towering over your setup or something like that, but it'll still be able to stretch. All right, so it goes like uh, here. And I'm gonna unscrew this. Make sure that goes all the way in. can't go in anymore. Okay, so I have a mic right here. And I have the arm just set up on the table right here just so I get an idea of what it's gonna look like and how tight it's gonna be. Um, so it comes the arm, comes with this, I guess, like screw. And on the end here, it fits like that. You can screw it in like that. And this other end also, it's right here but the thing is if i ever would want to remove it and take that out you need like a flathead screwdriver what i'm gonna do is probably set it up in this little holder so it's like that and you slide the mic in here so i'm gonna do that okay so oops focus so this is the piece i need to keep that separate from this because they do look pretty similar it's just this end you can actually put it around Okay, so I think if you want to adjust this to take these out, like one. Okay, so what I think I'm gonna do is replace this, the other single screw, put the original attachment back on. So I have no idea how this is like, I tried putting in and it goes in a bit, but on the actual length it doesn't go down. Okay, so here's something that I, do not know so this is why it's not fitting the mic is 6.6 .6 centimeters in diameter and this fits once extended 5.2 and i tried doing both sides though like this one as well but that's not readjustable it's only this front part so i'm gonna not be able to use the shock mount okay i have it like this this is so like i know this is not proper this is so awkward looking um but i have it like this i am gonna set it up Plug it into my computer. Good thing is, it comes with a little uh, a cap on the very end so it doesn't damage it in shipping or anything like that. So I'm gonna route it actually, then set it up, then we're gonna test it. Okay, so I plugged it in. Let's uh, see if it shows up. So what is it, we're recording, right? Is it this? No, is this. Default device, oh, so it's already. Hello, test, test. Hello, test, 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 one, two, three. Okay, so, hello, hello, test, test, one, two, three, mic check. So it's right there, showing up. Let's see if we, so we can listen to it, which I will do. I'm gonna put that to 100. Test, test, one, two, three, okay, there. Mic check, mic check, one, two. Hello, 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 and then if I lower it, hello, 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 yeah, right there, it completely stops. 
All right, so this is recorded in Audacity and this is how it sounds like straight from the box and default settings, everything, no filters, just raw audio. I'm currently recording in Audacity and I'll also have a heater in the background soon that will turn on. So you'll be able to probably hear that and it'll pick it up and uh, it'll give you an idea of if you have your setup in a setting or in an area in a room with a fan constantly going on, dog barking next to the kitchen or something or toilet flushing, whatever it is. I'm going to be reading some general specs and info on the mic uh, while talking through it on default settings and then after I'll do a comparison with my old mic the Arctis 5 uh, mic which was my most viewed video on my channel so if you haven't seen that link is in the description and yeah so I'll go ahead and read the specs for you then compare it with the Arctis 5 and then do both the five finds K669 and Arctis 5 mic with filters and post-processing. So it's a USB mic, if you guys haven't already known. It's a plug and play mic, so you can literally just plug it into your PC, laptop, whatever device, and you won't need any software to install or any drivers it's already uh, built within the mic as soon as you plug it in but if that's something that you wish to have a software additional to the mic then this mic probably isn't best for you and you might want to look into something more advanced i want to say but if you're like me who uses obs and all that recording and post-processing is built while you're recording then that's completely fine or you can do what i'm doing right now audacity and afterwards you can do all that filtering the size is pretty nice and small so it's not gonna be a massive mic taking up a whole bunch of space on your desk if you're limited to space on your desk it's perfectly fine comes with a little leg stand that you can attach and screw to the bottom or you can do like what i did shown earlier i got uh, our mic arm i should say and i can adjust where and position it depending on if I want to record like what I'm doing right now about an inch away from my mouth or if you were on the mic stand it probably sounds something like this probably can still pick it up as good but it would pick up also since it's on the desk it would be moving around if you're moving your mouse and if you're typing it might pick that up as well it's a cardioid condenser mic so it'll only pick up audio from the front of the mic and a bit on the sides so it's about 180 degrees it'll pick up so if I start snapping right now and then I'll go to the right and now I'm behind it probably doesn't sound as loud if I come back to the front it gets in the red I can see on audacity so it's going only going to pick audio from the front which means you want that to be facing your mouth any noise that you don't want to be getting picked up like your keyboard AC unit fans whatever then you want the back facing all that excessive noise and audio now let's talk about the sensitivity and pick up anything above minus 34 decibels at 30 percent gain uh currently i'm on about i should have brought this up in the beginning um i'm currently on maybe 15 to 20 percent gain right now i want to say um and in the windows settings i have it to 100 percent volume um something like keyboard like i brought up earlier i have brown switches on my keyboard so if you have cherry mx blues or reds Obviously those are louder and clickier. Um, and the frequency response is 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz and uses 16 bit 40,000 hertz bit rate and sample rate, which is pretty much a normal for most USB headsets and mics on today's market, like my Arctis 5s. The whole construction is made from metal, so it's a solid mic that you know is built with some effort and it won't be built from some cheap plastic. Now those are all the general specs. I'm gonna start to move on to the comparison. So obviously right now is the default raw audio. Now I'm gonna move on to the Arctis 5s. Nice, I just recorded a clip and I recorded the audio. I didn't record my screen though. Um, but yeah, this is again on the Arctis 5 headset. This is what I used to have before the Fifine K669. In here it's a lot more flat. There's not that much bass to support it. Um, and if I type as well while talking, this is what it sounds like. And it's less sensitive, but that's obvious because it's more flat I guess so in a way it's more quiet than the K669 and now we're gonna go back to the K669 mic uh, with filters and post-processing. Alright so this is on back on the K669 with uh, I'll read out all the filters that I have so I have noise suppression, noise gate, compressor, a plug-in, gain, and then a limiter. Um, and it's currently back right in front of my mouth. So yeah, this is what it sounds like compressed and all the filters on how it would usually sound in my videos. I'm still trying to adjust it so it's not 100% 4K. 
final. I'm going to sound like this, but just to give you an idea, your piter pick a pepper pan I'm about an inch away. So seeing if it up uh, doesn't distort or anything like that or any plosives come in. I don't like that word at all. Plosives sounds cringy as hell. Anyways, we're going to move on to the Arctis 5 headset with all the filters. All right, so we're on the Arctis 5s. Um, also, with all the filters, pretty much the same. Noise suppression, noise gate, compressor, gain, and limiter. I just don't have the plug-in for this. But yeah, this one's closer to my mouth. Still flatter, nonetheless. Doesn't sound too bad, but but still, both pretty good. I still think the 5 Fine is a lot better in terms of the clarity and bass. This one's just flat. But yeah, guys, that is going to be it. That is how the Arctis 5 versus the K669 sounds like. That is my review on the K669 from FiFine, PFine, FinFin, whatever you want to call them. I'm just going to say FiFine. If you guys enjoyed this review, leave a like and subscribe. If you guys didn't, tell me how I can improve. Um, and tell me if you guys are going to pick this up because how clear it is, how budget friendly it is. And if you're just getting started into YouTube videos or you want to improve your audio like me, then I definitely recommend it. Leave a comment down below, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.